on the court right now for the Spurs. LeBron James is out there with Nance. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Cummings. And it's Sanders in at the center. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And, and really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. Now, here's Thompson. Shot clock at six. And the foul throws in for Ryan Leonard. That's his third foul of the game. A uh, different look now for San Antonio. Anderson, he's checked in for Sanders. And Tony Parker subbed in for Larry Nance. Parker. Leonard. Outside Irving. Five on the clock. And it's good. Two contact hits the shot and go to the free throw line. And he could be the guy to put this game out of reach. Sanders checked in for the Spurs. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more by aggressively attacking the basket. And he's not shying away from the contact, which is giving him some free throw opportunity. Anderson can't get it to go. Cleveland leading by 15. Outside Irving. Puts it up from 12. And he overshot that one, missing. San Antonio's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. And finished off by LeBron. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Looking at the last game for San Antonio, it was a win against Los Angeles. The screen from Thompson. Irving kicks to Berejau. Rebound, San Antonio. I'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. And that's a foul called on Golan That's foul number two for him. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. Really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Here is Anderson. And Tim goes, jamming that one home. Threw it down with authority. Oh, he can really fly. And you combine that, Clark, with some of the nice penetration, too. And you've got an easy two points. And able to just play well above the rim. I mean, that makes this guy so dangerous when he's in the game. Those two outs checked in for Larry Sanders. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. You know, I thought maybe they draw a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shots. Something we've also seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to go down. Big points from outside. San Antonio making a switch here. Cummings is checked in. And he sinks the second. First trail by 12. Parker dishes to Cummings. Anderson passes to Parker. And Tristan Thompson gets the whistle that time. Well, one more, and that's it. He'll be DQ, disqualified. He's got to be able to defend without picking up that last disqualifying foul. Here's Anderson. Up the inside. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials on the contact, and he'll shoot two. Thompson, and so he's picked up his final five. That's it for the rest of this game. Love checked in for Cleveland. Both free throws good from Anderson. He has such terrific form and consistency on this free throw. Beautiful to watch. Outside Irving. Passes to finish. six here in this quarter really just a tremendous day for him and if you remember he was just as good in their last game Leonard against Irving it's deflected and that will be Cleveland as it goes out of bounds and Cavaliers retaining possession who all dang is checked in for going on who all dang lead of the game 15 points and it's martin missing they've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin but it hasn't been enough you know they're hustling and giving a good effort that's for sure
well, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Here's Irving. Irving double team. Martin wide open. He fires. Again, Martin missing. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance from Mills. Luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. And so it's Cleveland with it. After the basket by San Antonio. Irving attacking. And the rejection by Leonard. And the top by Bob. Here is Anderson. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. But the margin of error is this. You can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. Moving against Parker. Three pointer. Gang can't get it to go. San Antonio's gone one or two from three point range here on the floor. And there's the ball on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. the first. And the line of the Cummings. And so Cummings nails them both. Irving with the ball. He kicks to Martin. The pass to Verizon. On target from 13 feet. Verizon's got four points this quarter. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Kicks it out to Leonard. James sets the screen for Leonard. The easy layup after coming off the pit. Leonard's got 21. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that Linder didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Dang. Irving drives in. He feeds it to Berger. Really left alone that time. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. You know, as soon as he recognized the height this match, he Basketball there. Clean look from that range. Well, he's got to take it. Outside down. Picked by Verizon. Irving dishes to Dang. Six to shoot. That's the lot. Shot by Verizon. Wide open. And a little hit that time. A tough first half. points for LeBron. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given. He's been a key contributor for them in this court. Irving gets the very shot. San Antonio with the rebound. Anderson's got 13 rebounds in the game. That is good. And now it's just a four-point Cleveland lead. The defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. The last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, I assume his shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts. And that's just not going to get a gun. They've got to figure it out. Green, he's checked in for San Antonio. Spurs trail by seven. It's going to take something special for them to come back now. Well, I would say something special and some luck as well. Good fortune, however you want to phrase it. And the one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand going to slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth. He can a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and power. Takes it out to Leonard. LeBron outside. Leonard, the pass to Anderson. Shoots the three. It's four. And he has brought them to within two points. That was massive. You know it. He's stepping right into the spotlight there. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Now with the lead, I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take the time. Hit the clock a little bit. Now here's Love. Dane gets a wide open look. Lead is too big to overcome. I'm going out on the limb right now. There's a 
just not enough time left in them on the clock to make up the ground they have to make up. Anderson outside. Offensive rebound, Spurs. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. And he commits the intentional foul. No choice. He got the foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time, really, to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Kevin Marston at the line for two. From deep, Anderson can't get that one to fall. We see the Cavaliers get the win here. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds clock. You know what? They showed their character in front of them doing what had to be done to send these fans home. Now. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. And you guys had a tremendous second half. What were the things that had to happen to win this game? You know, we all contributed tonight, and if we have a well-balanced, you know, scoring and uh, we're efficient on both ends, we usually end up winning the game. And, you know, like you said, the second half was big for us tonight. It takes five guys to win it in the NBA. Kevin, thanks for your time. Back to the table. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Clark, Craig, and Doris and the rest of our terrific crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now it's time to head back to the studio with Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Love. He had an outstanding third quarter. Whatever they needed in terms of energy and offense, he was the firepower that propelled them during the second half. What are your thoughts, Kenny, on his game tonight? How much would every team like to have a big man who's able to do the things that Kevin Love does? He can play close to the bucket. He can spot up from long range, pass, drive the lane, rebound, you name it. I'm glad he didn't hold back tonight. He let it all hang out. He had a sensational night shooting the ball. Over 60% reminds me of myself. If you're shooting over 60%, you're playing smart. You're being aggressive. and You're creating an opportunity. What a spectacular performance. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.